Yo, what do you even mean, bro? How is this a thing? Yo, how? Somebody explain to me, bro. What is the decision making here? What is the logic? What are, what are they thinking, yo? How does this make sense? Dave Gettleman! Uh, that that's that's probably how some of y'all expected me to react real yo my hair is going crazy that's probably how some of y'all expected me to react or something of the sort to this right here Levine Toilolo or Toilolo I pronounce his name right the third tight end for the New York football giants is going to be brought back for I think it's gonna be a second year with us on a restructured contract he was originally gonna be making 2.95 million dollars in 2021 which is way too much for a guy considering what he's done for us which is not that much he was supposed to be a blocking tight end for us he couldn't block to save his life he's a blocking tight end that can't block and we thought he was just gonna be gone in general because it's like well we don't need him on the roster right like that's gonna be cap space right there easy cap space to free up that we need because I've already said multiple times, you've heard it not just from me, you heard it from your friend, from your neighbor, from your father, from your mother, from anybody that knows the New York Football Giants. You've heard that we're strapped for cap space right now, and these are the type of easy moves, releasing guys like Toyolo, that's going to free up some space for us. Not that much, you know what I'm saying? He would free up literally like two and a half mil, but it's still going to be space that we could use. And so the confusion right now is like, what's, what's up? What, what is with the Toyolo restructure bringing him back and whatnot? First and foremost, I must say, this is not a terrible move just because, well, it's not that much money. Is it a move that makes sense? Absolutely not. And I'm going to say this real quick as well. Um, Let's not pretend like Joe Judge and the coaching staff didn't have anything to do with this. Because I feel like we Giants fans as a whole agree that they're going to have a bigger say in this year's offseason and this year's moves and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure that they had something to do with it. What that means is that the coaches saw something in Toy Lolo. You know, maybe Freddie Kitchens, who's our tight end coach. Maybe it was Jason Garrett, which if... <laughs> yo, if... <laughs> Yo, if it was Jason Garrett, this makes yo. If Jason Garrett was a dude that's like, yo, that Levine Toyolo guy, man, I know he can't block, but I could use him in my scheme. The people said that Jason Wynn was too slow to be a receiving tight end, but he worked out. So Jason, so Jason Garrett is like, yo, Levine Toyolo can't block, but he's gonna work out. That would make sense if that's what happened. I'm kidding, obviously, but this, this definitely. Somebody on the coaching staff saw something on him. Somebody with enough say, whether it's Judge, whether it's Garrett, whether it's the tight end coach in Kitchens, they had say. I feel like we're all forgetting this, that the coaching staff is going to have, you know, they're going to have a good, you know, portion of the dealings uh, or a good, you know, amount of say in what's going to happen in the offseason in general. So is this a boneheaded move on Dave Gellman's part? Absolutely. Is this a boneheaded move on the coaching staff's part as well? Absolutely. Or at least until we're proven otherwise, right? But I'm going to say something here that's going to make me look crazy. You guys, if you guys didn't think that I was crazy already, you guys are going to like absolutely click off the video when I say this. And by the way, for those of you wondering why I'm making web webcam videos today, it's because I've been busy for the past four days. And well, these are the easiest and quickest videos to make form. And I, I wanted to get my reaction up on this. Guys. Bringing back Levine Toyolo is a sign that we're moving from Evan Ingram. We're moving on from him. It's a sign that we're moving him, whether it's cutting him or trading him. Now, if you haven't clicked off the video already, the reason I think about that, the reason this comes to mind is because Evan Ingram's been on my mind for the entirety of the season, unfortunately. But for the entirety of the offseason, because he's another one of these guys that we can move and just free up like six million cap space, whether we cut him or trade him. And I'm not saying Toyolo is going to be brought back to replace him. No, 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 no. The only reason in my mind that I'm thinking right now, here, here's, here's what I'm saying. The only reason I could see us bringing back Toyolo is if they plan to give him a little bit of a bigger role in the offense. And the only way that's possible is for him not to be the third tight end, but to be the second tight end. But he's not going to be going above Caden Smith because Caden Smith is still better than him. So that means 
that the first tight end is going to have to be moved on from. That means Evan Ingram is gone. That means Caden Smith is now the first. Levani Sololo is now the second. And they're saying, like, we already knows the offense might as well keep him as the backup because he is a backup while we use Caden Smith in the offense a bit more. I might be absolutely stretching. You know, this could be a complete reach for a reason as to why they bring back Toyolo, but I feel like it's something we got to consider. I mean, like, it's not completely out there that, that the Giants are thinking themselves, we're going to move on from Evan Ingram within the next couple of weeks, maybe even the next couple of months. Hey, maybe even draft night. They're thinking we're going to trade this guy to a team that's desperate for a tight end, that thinks that they could use Evan Ingram, that could things that it could unlock his full potential. And in order to keep some tight end depth, we're going to bring back this guy on a restructured deal. And, and that's how it's going to be. Say la vie. We're going to move on with life like that. I don't know why that popped into my head, guys, but it popped into my head. This could be a sign that the Giants are done with Evan Ingram and they're looking to seriously move him this offseason. And of course, it could also be a sign that we have no idea what's going on. And for some reason, Levine Toyolo attracted some something from the coaching staff, something from the, the front office. And they were like, yo, keep this guy. So Kevin Abrams, Dave Gellman, they got to work. They kept the guy. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a very short reaction video, but let me know what you guys think. Put your thoughts down below. Is the Evan Ingram thing too far out there? I don't know. I don't think it is. I, I think it's a very plausible, very reasonable assumption to make just based off of, you know, the Giants 2020 season and Evan Ingram's 2020 season and the fact that we were already considering moving on for him in a while. But once again, put your thoughts down below. That's it for now. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.